This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today I wanted to talk about a couple people that have gone missing, some mysterious deaths, and the authorities are pretty much nothing to see here, N nothing suspicious or anything. <clears throat> when I went on that walk, uh, like last month, that four mile walk through th the woods, I'm out here in the middle of the Pine Barrens. But depending on where you are, you could walk three or four miles and hit a house or hit a road or hit a development. But there's some places out here you could walk for a long time, a couple of days, and not hit anything. Which, you know, I did that four mile walk, but if I made a wrong turn, I could have hit the Batona Trail, which was 50 miles. It was getting dark in two or three hours. I had no food, no water, no whistle cell phones don't work out here I didn't have a lighter or matches to start any kind of fire to get warm I didn't have any extra clothes no first aid kit I mean you think four miles is nothing but out here there's nobody out here so if something happens you're on your own uh, like a month ago a month and a half ago something like that a teenager got lost out here um, they found his car I don't know, about 10 or 15 miles from my house uh, by an old abandoned bridge and they were looking for volunteers to help. My wife and I went and helped search. They found the kid in a different town with his friend or something. He's fine. Uh, pe but people do go missing out here. And a, a couple weeks ago, this popped up. Missing person search underway for couple who took ATVs into the Pine Barrens in Stafford Township, which is the next town over, which is where I did that walk, like 10 miles through the woods is where they live. There's a lot of conflicting things with this story. A lot of things said there was two ATVs, they were on two quads, they both had shotguns, she had a cane, they found the cane later, and then later it was, they recovered one ATV with his shotgun. And then they said they found her cane nearby, and then, no, there was only one quad. They only had one gun with them. There's just a lot of weird stuff here. But anyway, a massive search is underway for a married couple who went into the Pine Barrens on all-terrain vehicles and failed to return. Stafford police identified the missing couple as Gary and Lorraine Parker. Gary Parker, 67, and Lorraine Parker, 60, live on Cedar Bridge Road in the Warren Grove section of the township, according to public records. It was unclear how long the Parkers went missing. The search is taking place as the hunting season cont continues. Stafford police say they do not need help with the search, which kind of was strange for me. Uh, they're urging anyone with information on the Parkers and whereabouts to call the detective, blah, blah, blah. It's been nearly two weeks since a married couple from Ocean County went missing in the Pine Barrens. November 17th was the last day Gary and Lorraine Parker, both in their 60s, were seen near their home in Warren Grove section of Stafford Township. It was believed last week that the couple went for a ride in the woods. They haven't been found since. They haven't been seen since. Last week, the couple's ATV was found near their home with a shotgun strapped to the side of it. The daughter posted several times on Facebook asking for prayers and good thoughts. The couple lives in the Pine Barrens near Route 72 and 539. The Pine Barrens is an extensive area encompassing close to a million acres of land in South Jersey. Searches took place by ground and drone looking for any signs of the couple last Tuesday and Wednesday. The area has limited cell phone reception in spots and can become extremely cold at night. It did get cold those two weeks. I mean, today it's like 55. Now later, this is like a week later, I think, police are still searching for a New Jersey couple who mysteriously vanished after taking their ATVs, a couple times they keep saying more than one, into a protected New Jersey Wildlife Reserve, which is where I was at. Gary Parker, 67, and his wife Lorraine Parker, 60, are believed to have taken ATVs into the Pine Barrens before they went missing. 
although it's unclear exactly when the married couple disappeared, according to the Asbury Park Press. The couple's daughter, Lindsay Parker, posted on Facebook that her parents were missing and said investigators believed they may have been gone for more than 24 hours after going for a quad ride in the woods near their home in Warren Grove. Later that same day, she posted a follow-up message saying that the police had discovered one ATV vehicle along with my father's shotgun, which was strapped to it, not far from the couple's home, but found no sign of either parents. Now, see there, again, it said found one of the ATVs. The Stafford Township Police Department has launched extensive searches of the heavily wooded area to try to find the couple, using a grid search to comb uh, the area by foot, according to a statement from police. They also searched the area using ATVs, canines, drones, and air support. At this time, they have not been located, police said adding that the case had been turned over to the department's detective bureau of the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office. Now, two weeks later, New Jersey couple who mysteriously went missing found dead lying together in the woods near their home. Gary and Lorraine Parker, who had been missing for two weeks, were found on Tuesday afternoon in a wooded area around 200 yards away from their home. Now, They've been searching a couple times with drones, people on foot, canines, ATVs, and they found their ATV, one of them anyway, and they were found 200 yards from their own house. Stafford Police Captain James Vaughn tells people the couple was found lying together about 70 to 75 yards from their ATV that had been believed to have been driven into the woods and around 200 to 250 yards away from their home. The only way we were able to find them <clears throat> was by using a drone. Describing the area where they were found as the thickest part of the Pine Barrens you're going to find. Without the use of a drone, it was nearly impossible. You could have walked by them and not seen them unless you were directly looking. They were found in the thickest part of the Pine Barrens, which is thick. It's so thick in some of these places. I mean, here it's not bad. To me, a drone is in the air, right? And it looks down. You're not going to find anything on the ground through with a drone, unless it's flying this high, six foot looking through. I don't see how a drone can find people laying in the woods when people can't find them. That's just me. Although a cause of death is currently unknown, police said on Tuesday that they do not believe foul play was involved. Over 100 volunteers, police officers, and firefighters joined in the search, which was turned over to Stafford Detectives and the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office. Prior to the discovery of their bodies, an ATV was found with a shotgun belonging to Gary inside. Inside? Uh, a cane belonging to Lorraine, to Lorraine, who had mobility issues, was found at their home. Now, another post on Facebook, which I don't have. Somebody was telling her my wife had it. They found her cane not far from the quad. So there's conflicting stories. Was there one quad, two quads? Where was her cane? Police still have no idea how the couple ended up in the densely wooded area. I don't think we're ever going to know, Vaughn said. I mean, there wasn't an ATV crash per se, but why they got off and why they ended up in the thicket the way they did that far from their house, we're never going to know. You don't think that's kind of strange? Two people who don't live that far, they, they got lost on their, like, on their own property. Right off their property. And they were found in briars and stuff together. Nothing strange about that. Okay, here's another one. This is around the same time. That one was right before, uh, November 17th or something. It was like right before Thanksgiving. And this is December 2nd. Two people found dead inside Southampton Township, New Jersey home. The discovery was made on the unit block of Huntington Drive just after 4.30 p.m. A husband and wife 
were found dead in a home in Burlington County on Wednesday. The bodies of Stephen Renish, 72, and Barbara A. Renish, 64, were discovered in a single-family house in a 100 block of Huntington Avenue, blah, blah, blah. While well, a state police spokesman said the deaths are non-suspicious, the cause remains under investigation. The spokeswoman didn't immediately say why or how investigators determined the deaths were not suspicious. Property records show uh, they owned a 1,400 square foot house in Leisure Town, right off of Route 70, which is the other way from me. So here's an another couple, both dead in their house, just, you know, they're older, maybe, you know, I guess it's possible. But here's another one. December 2nd. Shocking discovery. Woman's body found in leaf pile outside Ridgewood home. A Ridgewood homeowner taking a trash can to the curb late Wednesday discovered the body of a woman in a leaf, large leaf pile. Police chief, the police chief who was among the responders to the Union Street residence 911 call at 11, 11.07 p.m. said the 50-year-old village resident was known to police and that no foul play was suspected. She may have suffered a medical episode, one responder said. But the investigation was continuing. It's not suspected to be criminal at this time and there is no danger to the public. So, a woman just is found in a pile of leaves and, ah, she must have had an episode. What the hell's going on? Here's another one. I forget, this one was last month or two months ago. I'm not sure exactly when this was. And this one is in Indiana. Missing Indiana boy. 14 years old, found dead alongside his dog a week after disappearing, oh, after disappearance. Devastating. The bodies of Jacob Cole McCarthy and his pet German Shepherd, Isabella, were found in a wooded area off Interstate 64 in Croydon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Indiana. The body of Jacob Cole McCarthy, the 14-year-old boy from Croydon, Indiana, who went missing while out walking his dog, has been located by authorities a week after his disappearance. Jacob's body was found alongside remains belonging to his pet German Shepherd, Isabella, on Tuesday, in a wooded area off Interstate 64 near the Harrison County Hospital, according to uh, the county sheriff. Smith said in a press release obtained by People that law enforcement officials searched the area after receiving a tip from someone who read about Jacob's disappearance and reported to detectives that they saw the teenager and his dog near the interstate on September 21st, the day he went missing. Investigators also received surveillance footage displaying someone who appeared to be Jacob walking along the interstate the same day, according to Smith. Detectives do not currently suspect foul play, although Jacob's cause of death will be determined upon completion of an autopsy. They don't suspect foul play. A 14-year-old boy is found in the woods with his dog, dead. That's normal. What the hell is going on here? Another man. Shit, what did I do with that paperwork? Now, when I was looking this stuff up, I found stuff all over. Mysterious deaths. But people, you know, do go missing out here. Woodland Township, where I'm at now. State police have called off the search, but volunteers continue looking for uh, missing hunter Barnett Barry Zeldin, who disappeared in the Warren Grove Recreation Area. Uh, Zeldin, 74, left his Maze Landing home on Monday, October 7th. Now, this is 2013 and told his wife he was planning to put bait at a deer stand near Chatsworth. Zeldin signed in at the Audubon Gun Club on Route 563, which is almost my road, at 10 a.m. in the morning, Monday morning, according to his wife. They always sign in to the, so the hunters know, oop, windy, 
they always sign in so the hunters know who's out there. When her husband didn't come home or call Monday night, Zeldin wasn't worried because he was known to, to make spontane spontaneous hunting trips that lasted several days. I didn't think much of it. I figured maybe he got a deer and he was looking for it. He's very independent. She started calling him every hour, Tuesday and Wednesday, but all she got was voicemail. Thursday, she tried to drive to the Audubon Gun Club, but couldn't find it. There's a lot of gun clubs all around my house. She successfully found the club on Friday and got several members to go out looking for Barry. A couple of us went Friday, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they found his automobile. His keys were in the ignition, cell phone was on the dashboard, and his dog Taffy was still waiting for her master. You go hunting with a dog and you leave the dog in the car? I don't... I don't know. She ate the corn and molasses for the deer and must have drank rainwater because the windows were down. New Jersey State Police and State Park Police searched for the missing hunter over the weekend using helicopters and canines. By Sunday afternoon, there were no signs of Zeldin, and the search was called off. They never found him, and that gun club is a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half from my house. It's easy to go out here and get lost. But these deaths have me baffled. How does a couple go on a quad? They know the area. They've lived there for years. How do you go on a quad outside your property and, and just disappear for weeks? It's not that far. You could have walked back. The quad was in good shape. Was there one quad? Was there two? I, I don't know. There's conflicting stories. They found her cane not far from the quad, and they were worried because she's got problems, and then they say they found the cane in the house. But the two of them were found in the thickets, in the heavy briars, not far from their home. Dead together. Another couple. Found dead. A boy, woman leaves. What the hell? Oh, this is getting dark, huh? So, what the hell's going on? Be aware of your surroundings. Watch what the hell's going on. Uh, I've seen road rage like crazy. Last night I saw a guy ramming into the back of a car coming home. Uh, people robbing people at Walmart and the Home Depots and stuff. It's a crazy world. And when you can die, to me these are mysterious deaths. One person, you know, has a heart attack or something, you know, passes out. But a couple... They had a, if something happened to one of them, they have a shotgun. They could have fired shots. They had a quad with nothing wrong with it. Somebody could have went and got help. And they didn't have any fractures, broken bones. There was no gunshot wounds. Just eh. both of them. <sighs> Keep an eye. Let me know if you've noticed anybody missing and weird shit lately. And this is all like. In two months, it's happening all over. This is Pawnee Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.